Hey Gemini, welcome back to my channel. This is going to be your general reading for mid-October of 2024, so let's just jump right in and see what messages we get for you. And this is for Gemini Sun, Moon Rising, and Venus placements. And we have the Seven of Wands at the bottom of the deck. So there could be definitely something that is time sensitive at this time of the month. Maybe mid-October is a moment where you're getting very close to making a decision that's going to affect the rest of your year. Um, it kind of feels like you're getting ready to kind of stand up and maybe make some sort of official claim on something. Um, I kind of see this not so much as a defensive energy, but kind of like protective. It's like you really want to protect something that is important to you. You want to protect something that, you know, has a lot of value to you. But it feels like there's something about this time being about you really just getting ready to almost like make something official or make something um, like a very strict part of your life. Like you're kind of getting ready to sort of commit to something it's like there's a very intentional energy i just don't know exactly where it is it's going right now uh, but behind the a seven of wands is the emperor which is aries so you could have aries placements maybe you're connecting to an aries but again it's like this energy is a very strong powerful sort of like in control kind of energy so it feels like you're getting ready to make some sort of um you know kind of like official statement commitment we have the Four of Cups, the Ace of Swords, the Six of Cups, and the Temperance, which is Sagittarius. So maybe it's time sensitive. Maybe there's something that you have to do before a certain amount of time passes in order to secure something, right? Maybe for whatever reason, I'm thinking of when you place a bid on something, it's like if you don't get the higher number, um, you know, before the, the timing is up, then whoever, you know, beat you gets whatever it is that you bid on. That's probably not the best example, but it's what I'm getting. And I feel like now with the Ace of Swords, it's like this is you having that moment of clarity. I feel like mid-October, something's just going to click where you're going to feel like, okay, now is when I should do this, right? Like I, I should probably make this official now, or I should probably decide this now. It's kind of like you don't want to um, be in a position where you may regret something or you may look back and say, oh man, I wish I would have done that. To me, that Six of Cups, it's almost like you're trying to avoid living in the past by not doing something in the present that you probably feel you should do. You know, almost like your higher self is sort of operating right now and kind of steering the ship in a way. So I feel like you're very in tune with your spirituality or that inner part of you and I feel like maybe that's that four of cups is like you're really thinking from that higher plane so I feel like maybe this is about not um, ignoring the signs not ignoring the downloads or the messages that you're subconsciously receiving from the universe when it comes to something really important um, let's see let's clarify the ace of swords four of swords yeah I feel like right now it's like you can either this is going to sound crazy, but it's kind of like you can either sink or you can either swim, right? I feel like with that four of swords, it's like there's this call to action. And right now you could be contemplating, you could be really thinking about it, like just meditating on it. But I feel like there's going to be a moment where you're going to act. You're going to take some sort of action. So before the, or sorry, after the four of swords, we have the eight of pentacles at the bottom of the deck. So it's like right now we're resting, we're recharging. But then once the time comes, we're going to put some work in right? Because we can't allow something to pass us by. It's like you really don't want to feel as though you let this go or let an opportunity pass. It's like you really want to be on top of something, maybe even ahead of schedule. So for some of you, it's not that it's time sensitive. It's that you want to just simply be ahead so that you don't have to even worry about something. We have nine of wands, the devil, which is Capricorn and the Ten of Pentacles. So you really, really want this, right? It's like, that's clear. It's like, that's part of this epiphany is that you know that this is something that could potentially have long-term abundance impacts in your life. Like maybe you're setting yourself up for success that could have a lot of re um, recompensation. I don't think that sounds right. But anyway, it feels like you're going to be rewarded heavily for something that you're doing right now. But it feels as though whatever it is, Gemini, it, it's very exhausting. It feels like it is tiring, exhausting. I feel like that nine of, nine of Wands is this energy of, man, I really want this, but 
does it drain me, right? This is really tiring. However, with that devil energy, it's almost like right now your only competition is that shadow self, right? It's that part of you that is saying this is exhausting. This is a lot. This is draining me, right? Like if you are able to overcome that voice, then there's no way you won't have that 10 of pentacles. So this is really speaking to how we can sometimes get so in our minds that we don't realize we can control it. We can change it. We can alter it and reframe our thoughts. So I feel like your your epiphany right now or the one that you're going to have very soon, it's, it's really going to shape the way that you view the rest of the year in such a powerful way. And I feel like with that Ten of Pentacles, you have your eye on the prize, but now we have to like sort of get every part of us on the same wavelength, right? We have our eye on the prize, but now we got to get our brain, our bodies, our, you know, everything has to be in that sort of one track mind. All right, let's clarify the Temperance. emperor which is aries so again it's like you're very in control um, of about something it's like you really want to be ahead you don't want any mishaps any obstacles it's like you're trying to avoid something going wrong or you're trying to avoid delays so we have the chariot which is cancer two of swords seven of wands i feel like that two of swords could be about the fact that you can already anticipate something happening um, maybe there is a an event or some sort of date that's going to be occurring in the near future that can impact what it is that you're working on right now. So I feel like with that seven of wands, it's like you're thinking, okay, if I do this now, or if I set this into motion, then I can still handle that other thing. And it won't stop me from moving in this direction or progressing at this pace. Like you're being very, very strategic, very methodical, very calculated, um, very much like the emperor would be about something that right now is really, really important to you. So I feel like if anything, the universe could just simply be confirming that, yeah, you should probably do that because you never know what's going to happen in the future. You never know what's going to come up, right? So it is better to be maybe one or two steps ahead than to be right on task or to procrastinate. Definitely, we don't want to procrastinate. And maybe for some of you, that's the challenge is that you could also be catching up, but I feel like the universe is definitely encouraging sort of like this being ahead if you can kind of uh, mentality. All right, let's clarify the Six of Cups. I don't know why I'm thinking of that movie, Catch Me If You Can. Um, is that the one with Leonardo DiCaprio? Um, all right, so with the Six of Cups, we have Judgment. Behind that is Ace of Cups, then it is Queen of Wands, then Five of Wands, then High Priestess, which is Pisces, then Wheel of Fortune, then Three of Cups, then Four of Wands. I feel like this could have to do with a connection or a relationship of sorts. It's kind of like you don't want to find yourself maybe in a situation where um, having too much on your plate could then lead you to losing something that you really care about. It's like you're trying to really, really weigh everything out on a scale. We have the Eight of Cups, the Strength, which is Leo, and the Page of Wands. So I feel like you're trying to find some sort of solution to maybe a obstacle between you and another person. Right now with the Eight of Cups, there could be some distance or maybe um, whether it's a physical distance or an emotional one. I feel like you and someone could be taking your time apart to kind of just recognize or realize what you need to do it's almost like this strength card in the page of wands it's like somebody is looking for a solution and being very brave about that or being very um you know like i guess courageous let's see let's clarify the eight of cups i need a little bit more information on that because there's a lot of ways to read that so i just want to make sure six of pentacles so yeah it feels like you and another person could have a very mutual approach to whatever's going on it's like both of you have decided okay if we do it this way it may not be that great at the beginning but what if that makes us stronger in the end so it's like you and somebody else are working really hard to be on the same page and you're doing whatever it it, it takes to make that happen so maybe the strength is that you're both being brave enough to go in different directions if it's for the purpose of then being in a better place in the long run. Behind the Six of Pentacles is the Death card, which is Scorpio, then the world, then the Two of Pentacles, 
then the king of cups, then justice. So it's like there's something about needing to be balanced first. Somebody's making a decision that's going to change their lives. And I feel like with the death card, it may be part of a rebirth. Somehow it is a part of this energy. Somehow it is a part of this connection. But I feel like with that six of pentacles, it is mutual. It is shared. It is understood between both of you. We have strength, which is, uh, sorry, sun, which is Leo again, five of cups, three of pentacles. So it's like, there's something bittersweet about it. We don't love it, but we know deep down inside that we're going to be better off and happier by making this decision together. So I feel like mid-October is going to be really, really productive, very important and intentional to say the least. And I think that whatever it is that you're going through right now, Gemini, you're definitely divinely guided through it. So really love this for you. Hope you take it all in. And if you like this reading and it resonated, please give it a like, please subscribe, and I will see you in the next one.